This is VLC, a free media player, and it is a guitarist best friend because of all the features that it offers. You can loop, you can slow down videos while still maintaining the exact same pitch. You can set chapter points in the playlist. And I'm going to show you how to move some of these widgets to the transport area, which is down here in the bottom left. Of course, you're familiar with play and stop and pause and so on and so forth. But I'm going to show you how to add some stuff that's very, very cool for learning songs or working with metal method guitar lesson exercises. So bring your mouse cursor down into the transport area. Right click, go to tools, and then slide over here and go down to custom interface. Now here are all the toolbar elements and you'll see as you go down through here you can set A and B points to loop things that you're working on. Uh, you can uh, choose something, uh, the speed selector, so you can slow down parts that you're working on. And you can add any of these little widgets to your transport. Right now, the toolbar position I have chosen is under the video. But if you want the toolbar to be above the video, all you have to do is select that. I like it under the video. Then you have line one here, and you choose these widgets by just dragging and dropping. Same with line two. So this is line one down here in the transport, line one, and here's line two. So in line two, there is something that I don't particularly need, I see here, and that's the random widget. I have an idea what it might do, but I don't use it. So I will just remove it. Now see, it's gone. But let's say next week I find out what the random widget does and I've just got to have it. Well, I just put it back there and it will be available on my transport. So this is the way you choose what toolbar elements are on line one and on line two. I'll remove it because I don't need it. So after you've got all that selected and chosen and placed, you close it. And here are the things that I find helpful. This is the speed selector. Uh, as it says, current playback speed is one time, but if I want to adjust it to half time or even make it faster for whatever reason, I can do that right here. Uh, this is very cool. Once you've paused it, there might be something that you're trying to figure out and you don't want to watch even a second of video. You want to see what's going on frame by frame. Well, you click on this and you move through the video frame by frame. Uh, this is to loop from point A to point B. So you set loop points and loop from A to B. So you can keep practicing a part over and over again. And once again, if you're learning a metal method lesson and you're playing even the slow part and it's too fast, loop it and slow it down. The pitch will be maintained. It's awesome. Sometimes there will be something in a video that you might want to capture the screen. And this takes a snapshot. The little camera there takes a snapshot of the screen. And this is the record button. And of course, we need that if we are recording something in VLC. I don't use that. Mainly play, stop, uh, previous media, uh, skip to the next media. Anyway, that's a quick overview of the various features available in the free VLC media player.